matchup as it'll be the Seattle Seahawks taking on the New York Giants. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. Wishing he had a mulligan. That's not how you want to start the game. Not at all, because not only do you give up the penalty and good field position, but it just kills the momentum of your team as you start a game. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Well, this defense for the Seahawks, they were very strong last week in the win over Carolina. There's a little bit of lightning talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win, but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. He was looking that time to get it to Paris Campbell, and it's third and five. You talk about this Seahawk defense. They're a unit that enters play way down, number 28 in the NFL right now against the run. And this group talks all the time about wanting to be better, getting stronger against the run. And to me, it all starts up front. You've got to win the line of scrimmage in order to play against the run very well. And yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Barkley inside handoff. And he's got Rome. He's brought down in the red zone at the 18 after a gain of 18. First and 10. The interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they block well too. Not only have they scouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get on field and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. Now a throw to the end zone. but it winds up incomplete. So not successful there on the challenge, and he'll have to be careful from here on out because he'll only have one challenge remaining. On second down, here's Barkley. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley, his second rushing touchdown of the year. And the Giants will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone. I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground. And he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Footing always a concern, but the extra points up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. A lock in the Seahawks now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start by running the option to the right. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. And that'll go for a gain of 18 on the keeper. First down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. It's another first down as they bite off 23 more on that one. First 
They run with the second year man. It's Kenneth Walker. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. You talk about this giant defense. They were excellent in that win over the 49ers last week. And I'm eager to see the game plan and trying to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, do you now decide that I can't throw the ball against this team and try and run it like crazy? Or do you challenge them? This is going to be fun. Being chased out left. He's going to get this complete here to lock it. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. On the option left, it's locked. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. Second and goal from the one. Walker. Diving for the end zone and he'll get there. Touchdown. Jason Myers now for the extra point. Footing likely going to be an issue all night here on a rainy night, but this one is good. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown. And the last time I look and repeat that, Charles' defense, they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive. And they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. It's a giant first down on a gain of 16. Why shift the crew? Crew! Up. Now Jones. Short throw going to be caught by Waller. The result only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. The Giants at two and one now to start the campaign. And they move back above 500 with a victory last week. And you look at their start, a win, a loss, then a win. This might be something we see from them a lot this year because when they're at their best, they can play with anybody. They're bringing their best every week. That's been a challenge thus far. Back-to-back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Waller's had trouble staying on the field since back-to-back 1,000-yard seasons, but few possessions athleticism at the position, and that's what the Giants traded for last offseason. Looking like the vintage Waller with that first down. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him from a loss. Throwing Jones. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact. And he's got a man complete. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Paris Campbell, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Giants have taken the lead. The fly route works for the TD Graham. And you know what the receivers love to say, if we get even with the defender, we're leaving. And that's exactly what he did, all the way into the end zone. And then he was on the business end catching it once he got over the strike. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Thank you. 
Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Now they entered play on a two-game win streak, and then they've got the open date on their schedule next week. So this is a group that's really looking to hit the break on a high note. And this will obviously be a tough game for them. But they'll play this out with me, If they win here and make it three in a row, they get to heal up after that. You've got to think that's an ideal setup and a worthy goal to play for in this one. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's Locke. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, here's Walker. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Now Locke. And off balance slow there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. One thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. Now Lock throwing on second down. That's to the rookie Jackson Smith and Jigba. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. From midfield, here's Lock. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that will fall incomplete. Oh, they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. Seahawk football here to start quarter number two as they've got it with a second and ten. Here's Locke to throw. Open man, that's Noah Fant, the tight end. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. They'll try for the first with Walker. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now a play fake, and here's Locke. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He put that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that made up some points on the board when this drive is over. Here's second and 10. To throw it is lock. And he's got Smith and Jigba. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. The Seahawks moving pretty well through the air. Another first down. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And the Seahawks are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Again, it's Lock. They throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. On 
On second down, here's Locke. And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk touchdown. A great effort there with an amazing diving catch. And the Seahawks are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. A diving catch for the score he laid out. That was special. And you know the first thing they're going to check, right? Did he complete the process of the catch? All the way through, all the way to the ground. Ball doesn't hit the ground without control in his hands. All of that, yes. Check the box, touchdown. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? We said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well. And he's been right. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag rock can be one of those old, reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage, as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage. With man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times. And what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. Second down. Here's Barkley again. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And maybe that one caused by the weather. Of course, a Rick. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. To throw on third down, Jones. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Devin Witherspoon. And the Seahawks will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much-heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first-round selection. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, be able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. Locked to throw on second down. He'll find Metcalf. Just a gain of a couple there. And now third down and six to go. But there wasn't much there with that hitch round. They didn't gain what they expected. But sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to. So sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 19. A good pickup there, 21 yards. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Into the red zone, it's lock. Throw out wide to Walker. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Lock looking to change the play. Here's Walker. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. No gain on the play as we have reached the two-minute warning.
line of scrimmage once again the five as they get ready for second and goal. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. Block off a of play action. Touchdown, Seahawks! Will Disley, his first touchdown on the year. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. The Seahawks offense staying put out on the field. They're going to go for two. That's caught at the two. And he will find the end zone here. And the lead moves up to seven. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result, so... Frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Now a second and ten. Looking to throw. Jones flushed out right. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw. Jones. He'll look downfield for Waller. It got his man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. They'll get 34 yards there. Half and eight, half and eight, half and eight. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. 59 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football part. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Biggie, 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 biggie. From the 40 now on second down, Jones. And his throw's going to be incomplete. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Quadre Diggs. And the Seahawks are going to take possession here at their own 33. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Block will try again on second down. And that's going to be caught downfield by Fan. Look at the big fella go. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Noah Fan as the first half is winding down. And the Seahawks will extend their lead here just before halftime. Myers connects on the PAT. And the lead now up to 14. Yeah. 
Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 30, right about the 29. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively. Oh, Jones has just thrown his third interception. It's Devin Bush, the linebacker, who picks it. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Wow, a big mistake there. Late interception in this first half, and that could lead to a field goal try the other way. Yeah, I think at this point, you just had to say, let's take a knee and go in at the half and regroup. Let's just talk it over a little bit. I wonder, partner, was the analytics coach in his head a little bit? Maybe go ahead and press it and try and get And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Powering his way forward, and he will be out of bounds with no time remaining on what will be the final action of this first half. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 28 yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. And yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. The way things have gone in this one, the running game's been something of an afterthought, and that's not been too bad for them, has it? Yeah, the offensive returns have been good, but I guess we figured he and the ground game would be a bit more involved. Locke looking to change the play. They run again with Walker. Nice move at the 40. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a gain of 12 first down Seahawks. First down Seahawks. Now to the air. Lock. Now throw right side here going to be incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Block now to throw. He'll let this go deep for Smith and Jigba. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Seattle. Jackson Smith and Jigba. 52 yards. And the Seahawks take a three-touchdown lead. Extra point up and through by Myers. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Not one you What's see Bob and Kobe? How you fool? Keep it between the sidelines, and that is a penalty every time. And 
Going to give this offense better field position. That's every kickoff guy's nightmare, isn't it? Because you nigga, I owe you a ass for the two, nigga. Don't think I forgot about that 90 point win. It's absolutely a miss hit, and now your team pays the pull up on your ass, nigga. Position for your defense. Outrun pass complete to Bellinger. They get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 23 yards on the play. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Jones fakes the give to Bellinger. Man, get the fuck out of here, dog. Smack him, bruh. Hey, Mo, go to fuck it. Come on, fucking Daniel Jones breaking sacks and shit, cuz. Get the fuck out of here. We decided not to throw it on first down, but give him credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage, but it's only second and short, so that run is still likely to lead to a new second down. And they move this all the way down to the nine. 79 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. I hate some, bro. That should be so ass when niggas be trying to run forward Barkley. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. Isn't that no sub? Like, if sub DB shit is ass, I ain't going on to this shit ass. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. Running left, it's Barkley. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard there, and that'll bring us to third and goal. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop all right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it run. Man, come the fuck on, uh. I'm about to trade this nigga Woods, dog. Nigga just fast, bro. And the Giants are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Can know the extra point, and the lead will be cut down to 14. He locked that shit up. He just gave him animation. Can know now, following the touchdown here to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Twin, where you been? Twin, where you been? Face <laughs> Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. That was a good pick up too, bro. Uh, OJ Howard out there in free agency. That was a good ass pick up. 36 yards on the play. So how about that? Where for have you been? Nobody. Sing that shit, girl. Yeah. 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 Sing that shit, bitch. Uh -huh. He completes this to Walker. Uh -huh. And he gets yeah. it down to the third. That shit, bitch. That'll go for a gain of seven. And no. it'll be second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Go a lot. This nigga lock kind of decent, bro. And it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. That is taken. Oh, come here. And Oh, get the fuck out of here. This game's a shit. Why are you still giving the ball? <laughs> hey, bro, go the fuck here, bro. What the fuck? This game's some shit. This game's some shit, bro. I swear to God. I don't even know how the fuck I play this shit. I would have raised on that one, Lola. I ain't gonna lie. I'm about to go. Oh, the serve. Week makes last week. He ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did run pretty much what he wanted to do. Bad. This one, they stopped him cold. That to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. They'll roll him out right. And this will be well too long for him to bring Fuck. in. It's incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the ball right back because your friend 
Ooh, that was wide too. He's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's gonna make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you got to And this will be caught by Metcalf for a Seahawk touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown of the night. And the Seahawks are able to capitalize on the forced fumble by turning it into six points. And we remember, of course, all scoring plays need to be verified upstairs. And I think they're going to at least take a look at this. Myers connects on the PAT. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. And after the touchdown, got here's Myers years, yeah. to boot it away. Yeah, they got to play that bum-ass Rams, nigga. So now the possession will begin at the 35 after the errant kickoff. Damn, so it'd be a way to avoid a dangerous kick returner, I suppose, but you are getting up extra yardage, that's for sure. I got to see it there. Quit deep, that's what it's for. Good shit. Now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving a lot of credit. Bro, what the fuck is going on, bro? Trying to complete passes. Now he's loose down the left sideline. That all the way in. Touchdown. These niggas are terrible. I, gotta get a, I don't know what I want to do. Well, if they're going to make a game of this in the second half, they need a few big plays to go their way. That's one. And the way I just was like, hoping a prayer to God. I wasn't even going to do that, that for real. That big play right there, now you're not moving the ball down, still taking time off the clock. You're leaving yourself a better avenue to continue to try and make a comeback. Extra point try, good by Gano. And the lead will be cut down to 14. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. I don't know, I'm really feeling you. I don't even really see it anymore. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Mm -hmm. Their lead down from 21 to 14, but still sitting in a great spot. Good shit. Here in the oh, girl, you got to stay on that. That was a good deal. First down, it's knocked away and incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. <clears throat> that was good defense. Why did I got to watch that again? Why the fuck did I force that? I didn't even save it. Third quarter of Monday night with a second and ten coming up. They look to throw. It's locked. Man open downfield. Must be cover two. Down the left sideline. Oh, really? That's cover two, ain't it? Yep. DK Metcalf, seventy-five yards. And the Seahawks get another third quarter touchdown to add on to Fuck, that this lead. nigga keep missing fucking oh, extra points, bro. Right. No good. The fucking bum. This nigga some shit, man. So with the miss PAT, the Seahawks paying all these bum-ass niggas, back niggas back to back. I can't even release these niggas. They'll take it down about the 29. So my candy up. Okay, here we go. The Giants offense at the line ready to begin their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback. Well, where are these niggas coming from, Bob? Right now. <laughs> hey, bro. This is dope, man. Get the ball and move it. And I'm out of here. They need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Ooh, bitch shit. That's a run to run now. Now they nearly yeah, surrounded that time as he takes his own way down. I got to go to the bus. They can play the river to the bus. I mean, I just was fucked up for a Marduke in. I'm trying to put Marduke in. I'm cooking me with Slayton, Kyle. Touchdown. I'm still rocking away my Rhino. On the nines, I got paid for all this crime. Um, 
my dream and vision and I be done. And if it's true, gon' bang it out. My mother want me change my route. And my I'm sorry, I was forced to bring the pistols and I find a bullet in the bed. Other than a nigga head. I ain't got tears to shit. No, I ain't got tears to fucking cry. I could have been a fucking spy. People shit and drop the shit. Drop it with my eye. No, I spot shit with my brain. See, my uncle at all them came. No, the reason they pops in here, but that come with the game. Uh, Chain eye, make man that stain. I still a bust his brain. Gano out to kick this one away. Still gonna make some changes. KP. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone. Let's listen to some Rod Wave. Let's see what you talking about tonight, Rod. Maybe I need a I don't know. It's coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first down. Shit, why are you keep thinking touchdowns? First down. She ain't gonna give up. Gotta just keep scoring. Guys to keep scoring, my brother. I'm telling you, know what the fuck they talking about. Let's cover. Back to the air on second down. It's locked. He finds Smith and Jones. Oh my god, these I hate these animations. But they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. My mother told me to make it work. Well, I should tell her me to let it burn. On my phone is the butterflies. These days my stomach turn. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing now is locked. And they'll get it up just short of 35 at the 44. They went over 100 yards in the wild card round. He's over 100 here as well at a first down. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a part-way drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. Ooh, smack this shit out, Isaiah Simmons, dumbass. He threw me off. Oh, he threw me off. He threw me off. Last night, I was so high. Oh, he threw me off. 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 And he'll get it down here to the 43. Ooh, 47 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter. Looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys, they're just saying, let's just keep running it out. We got them now. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. It's caught at the 10. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A gain of 28 yards there, and give him a first down. First down, Seahawks. They'll get this out wide to Metcalf. Touchdown, Seahawks! DK Metcalf, an 11 yard touchdown. And the Seahawks are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. Well, I've heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seems like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first downs, and if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends at a touchdown, fantastic. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. And he is going to be 
stop short of the goal line. Oh, they'll mark him inside the one. He just couldn't keep churning those extra few inches. And the two-point attempt is turned aside. After the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And this will come out to the 25 as Hamler elects not to return it. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by Quadre Diggs. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. At this stage of the game, with a score where it is, the key here is to hand bounds, and he did just that. Not by a huge margin, but he stayed in. And those come up in what we like to call winning edge meetings. The things that you have to do late game situations, kicking situations, it doesn't matter what it is, the things you have to do to win a game, and that comes up in that meeting, then you practice it, they've got to be happy to see it executed, being able to stay in bounds and work the clock. Sticking with Walker on second down. Oh, I hate this. And he is shot up on that line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. And when the defense wins and gives up no yardage on a running play, that's something they can build on and carry themselves forward throughout the game. The Seahawks on third down. Can't be any better than a perfect six for six. They're up against a third and one situation. Get the fuck out of my way, Smith and Jacob. What the fuck are you doing? Dumbass, as bitch. Once more. Boy, that's a five a fucking scrub, bro. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped them. Bring it up fourth down. Lock staying put. Fourth down, and they're going for it. They'll go for it. It's Lock. Touchdown. Tyler Lockett, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Seahawks' decision to go for it pays off with six Shit, All you got to do is do uh, double tap R1, do the contain, right? that give you a, a, a what's the name, like a, easy, a better rush. I don't know if it work on some, but it's a chance to pile on some stats before this one wraps up, and he did just that. Brandon Convention tells us. It's time for them to get off the gas a little bit, right? But you and I both know the receivers don't want them to because, as you noted, this is their chance to pile on the stats. If they got their way, they try to get every single spot in the depth chart points before this game is over. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. There you go, Woolen. That was fucking time, bum ass nigga. Picked up by Reek Woolen. Well, there's two sides to this coin. I mean, on one side, five interceptions now thrown for him. That's tough, but man, this defense. Oh, he's about to be on a trade block this week, I promise. But Charles, let's flip it back over. If you're coaching a quarterback that's struggling this much at this stage of the game, do you maybe try to get him out? I would think about it, and I think about it awfully hard, but also, you might want to look into his eyes, see what he has. He might be one of those players that you don't want to affect his confidence by actually pulling him out of the game. So you have to know your player, you have to know the situation. And he can't quite get there. Tackle down at the one. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep, first and goal. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has yeah, been a one-sided affair. Yeah, these niggas hate us, shot my whole chalk up, beef never squash it. Right? Daddy gotta make your bottom in a second. You know, so many nights all alone. 
Now we give him the other round. I'm trying to hear him. Come out in the pistol. Not trying to hear that shit tonight. Please, brother, please. If you could do daddy a favor, do that. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, yeah. but there's nothing to I gotta beat that Rams with it, bro. I think it's put 76 on me. We get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Can you believe it? He misses another one, his third so far. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing into the league. Right? The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been ragged throughout. And this is caught. And somewhat of a measure of revenge as he's in for the touchdown. Oh, point out of the deep third. He's going to try to make it. He'll take it, but he won't be able to smile about it.
I'm ready. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. So the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. He'll let this go deep for Smith and Jigba. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort. Why is trying to take it like shot, that? But it's third down. I think it's fairly safe to call this game over, but they're still trying to bomb it downfield and add to their lead. Almost makes you start to feel for the defense and root for them a little bit, too. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw in his lock. Oh, he is so... And a throw there gonna be All right, bro, whatever. A CD there are big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want. Now the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. It would have been a long field goal. The fake doesn't work out. Now the Giants are going to get the football back. Good starting field position for the New York Giants here as they come up first and 10 at their own 46. Jones, a throw completed to Hyatt. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Now Jones. This one goes out wide for Berkeley. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. First down, Giants on a pickup of 14. With this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. Well, we certainly know the coach isn't happy along the sideline because he certainly wants him to finish this one out the way they started it. He doesn't want to give up any soft completions, no late points. He wants his lead to stay low. And the Seahawks defense gets to him and they bring him down. Flying in to pick up that sack, Jordan Brooks. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Don Capers, Don Capers, Don Capers. Throwing on second and long. Jones. Good fucking play. I be knowing that shit too, bro. Oh, this shit. 26 and a first down. Oh, Looking to throw nigga, Jones. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Devin Witherspoon. And the Seahawks are going to have the football here at their own 35 yard line. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between. Shit, come get Malik Willis. Right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines. The fucking man. It's not Herbert, bro. It's not CJ Stroud. You got a war with what's given, bro. Fuck, Kyle. He threw that bitch so fucking flat and ugly. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Oh, give me the next one. Incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. But we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with you. And now here is another interception. Julian Love picks it, and the Seahawks will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. At their own 31 yard line. Stop the hate. Ready, break. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive Jekyll, underway. Jekyll, Jekyll, Jekyll. They're looking at a third straight win here if they can hold on. Escaping the pressure right. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Well, partner, under the lights in prime time, this offense.